Yeah. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Well, the, the last time I saw you was was here for Bonded by Blood. Correct. And you were going off to the States. Los Angeles, Los yeah. How, uh, how is it all going? It's done well. I just did a film out there with Richard Gere called The Double, uh, which released in cinemas there. It's a spy movie, me, Topher Grace and Martin Sheen and Richard, which is a nice four-hander. We did that. I did a... Uh, I think I said it before, we did, uh, I did another one with 50. And I'm here, I've actually written something for me and Mr. Dyer, which is a, a lovely movie. It's quite weird. I mean, I say to people, it's, it's um, Kate Fear meets Jerry Maguire, in a weird kind of way, because there's a revenge story in it. I go to jail, come out, but we start off as friends. And, and it's, it's the first time I've written anything, which is uh, quite exciting for me, and I'm producing it as well. And. Uh, we're friends, we're not friends, and we have to become friends again to fight the villains. I can't say too much, but I've got some premiership footballers in it. Uh, it's, it's got all the glitz and glam of football and, and, and what me and Danny do, and it's, it's not to be taken too seriously. It's a, it's a little bit of fun, and it's, it's for our demographic. And, for, and I've actually wrote myself a love interest in it this time. Yeah, it makes a nice Danny change. He always gets the girls, doesn't he? So I thought, as soon as I've got the pen, as soon as I've got the pen, I'm going to try and go down that way. So there's a lot in there for the girls as well. It's, it's a feel-good movie. What's it been like for you? Obviously, you, you know a script and how to sort of break it up to, to yeah. play your part, but what is it like for you now crafting a script as a writer? Well, um, Stephen Reynolds actually wrote a screenplay. Um, uh, I, I developed a story and I sat with him because I, I don't want to sit at a computer and give it all the, you know, the big one that it's all me and, not, and nobody else. But Stephen Reynolds, he's a very gifted uh, writer. He came on board with me. I set up the uh, stories and developed the characters and he kind of put it all together. So it was a collaboration, but it was exciting. And I actually put it together in five days because I sat down with uh, a few big distributors. I don't want to say too many names because we haven't given it to anyone yet. But they said, you know, we want you and Danny work so well together. You know, everyone's desperate for the, uh, you know, a bit of business, a bit of football factory, a bit of dead man running. Can you condense it all into one? And I just said, well, how about two football agents and unearthing the underbelly of, of the corrupt football world with a lot of fun? And we put some car chases in it and done everything, but it was really enjoyable, I've got to tell you. Um, I've, I've, I've written something else in the process. I've written a number two for it, so I've kind of got the bug for it. Um, my life's a little bit easier because I'm not actually sitting there writing it and typing it away. So I actually sit there with Stephen, Stephen Reynolds, and we develop it, I give him the idea, he goes away and crafts it, and we, we're on draft 10, we're on a shooting, uh, shooting script, and we're nearly ready to go. And you're producing it as and well? I'm producing it as well so. from my uh, production company, Blue Eye Motion Pictures, um, and yeah. Do you, do, you, do you have to think as well, commercially, because if you're going to be producing Absolutely. it? Absolutely, look, if, if it's, uh, if I'm, I'm, I'm obvious, I'm off to play Joe Barbosa's life story, which is a true life story, which is tipped for the next uh, big American uh, mob movie, but... On a producer side of it, I've got Camilla who used to manage me. Um, she's come on board to produce it through our company as well. And yeah, you know, for me, a lot of it's, I've got to sometimes forget about the arts and, 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 the, cre and the credibility of the film and try and put a producer's hat on sometimes. And they're always behind me going, look, you know, put him in. I'm like, well, no, he's uh, putting it. I'm like, no, no, but you know, tell me, look, you're making a commercial movie, you know. So I have to kind of split myself between the two. When it comes to shooting it, I'm actually, I'm actually going to pull away from it and go to work with, with Danny and, um, and, and, and perform as an actor, because I don't believe you can do the two. Post-production, pre-production, great. When it comes to the day, first day, I'm switching off and getting on with what we, to tell the story. But yeah, it's tough, it's tough. But thank God I've got Cam and, and a good team behind me. And, and Danny's actually come on board as executive producer as well. And he's putting his bit in. And we want a little bit of ownership on what we do now. You know, I think we're at the stage in our careers now where, you know, we've done what we can for everyone and we're, we're very humble and very thankful that we've got our career and, and how it's gone so far. But I think now it's time for us to grow up a little bit, go to the next level and have a little bit of ownership and a little bit more control over what yeah, we do. Channel your energies into something that fulfills you, really. Yeah, of course.